now that we know that we are paying 11,382 every year okay so when we pay for a loan we pay the interest first and then only we pay for the principal so that means of from this amount we are actually paying interest and principal amount so how much do we pay interest and how much do we pay principal so now let's calculate that Okay, it's very important. I mean, it's good if you can know that. Alright, so how many years do we have? We have 8 years, right? So we have year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then our payment annually is 11,000. 382.53. So this amount is the same every year okay so out of this amount let's call this column A Okay, out of this amount, how much do we pay for interest? Let's call this column B. Okay, for the first year, the interest is, we know it's 9% and our loan is 63,000. So the total interest that we pay is 5670. Okay, so that's the interest. And then, what's the principal? How much principal out of this 11,300? How much would be for, for principal? So let's call this column C. So to get this, basically, we minus our total payment with our interest for the year. So that's 11,382.53. We minus with the interest, we get 5712.53. Okay, when we have paid for the principal. What's the balance we have for this year? Balance to carry forward to next year, that's our total loan we minus by the total principal that we have paid for that year. So that is basically um, 57287.47. So you get that, okay? next year this amount should have decreased because we have paid some of our principal so that is 9% so interest for year 2 is 9% you multiply by this part here or by the balance of principal 47 okay so that's 5150.47 Okay, so how much of that? And then how much is your principal? I mean, so this will minus this, you will get 6226.65. Okay, so your balance is reducing by this amount, which is, I mean, the answer is, I mean, or the balance of your loan is 51060.82 okay so come year 3 your interest for year 3 is basically 9% of this amount alright so that's 459.75 that will leave your principal to 6787.05 okay and now the balance of principal is last year minus balance of last year minus how many how much you pay this year so that's 44 277 Come year 4, your interest will be 9% out of your 
balance last year. Okay. So that's 3984.64. Your principal now, you have paid this much. Because this, you minus this, you get this. Okay? So this part here is basically this, you minus this. Your balance last year minus how much you paid this year okay your interest okay so here you have five now your interest is three three one eight point eight three Now you are paying this minus this, you get 8063.7 for principal. So your balance is principal is balance of from last year minus what you paid this year, so that's 28812.18. Okay, so come year six, interest is 9% of this. So that comes down to 2593.10. 382.53 minus 2593.10. So your principles, total payment minus how much you pay for interest, you get how much you pay for principal. Okay, the balance of principal, balance last year minus this year's payment. So you have only 20,000 to 2.75. Okay. How much is your interest for year 7? So that is 9% of that. 2.75. Okay. So now your balance on uh, your your principal payment is this minus this, or total payment minus interest paid nine five eight zero point four eight. Balance on principal again balance last year minus principal paid this year, so you get zero four four two point two seven. For your final year, that's. 939.84 of interest so your principal payment now or for year 8 is 10448.73 so do you still have balance? ok you have about ok so basically it's almost 0 Alright, so this is just rounding difference, so that's fine. So if you can see, if you look at your amortization table, as we go along, the interest payment will reduce and the principal payment will increase. That is because your interest payment, I mean, I mean, every year you will pay for the principal, so your principal will reduce, if you see here. So that will cause your interest to reduce too, and your principal will go up. Okay? Alright.